Good morning. Welcome to Madison Avenue Christian Church. Whether you're worshiping here in person or online from home, we are glad you are here this morning. If you are visiting today, we ask that you fill out the perforated part of our bulletin and place it in the offering plate as it is passed so we can get to know you a little better. We welcome Jennifer King on flute to worship today and we thank her for sharing her musical gifts with us. The nominating committee will meet for a brief 10 minute meeting after worship today in the Barton Stone Room. There will be an elders meeting immediately following worship next Sunday, August 6th. Mark your calendars for Sunday, August 20th, as the men of MAC will be providing music during worship that day. MAC Youth is collecting school supplies for James E. Biggs Early Childhood Education Center. They are the school that we partner with for the Angel Tree at the holidays. They are in need of thick crayons, thick markers, safety scissors, and glue sticks. Over the next couple of Sundays, we as a congregation will be collecting these supplies. On Sunday, August 20th, Mac Youth will assemble care packages during Youth Church to be delivered to the school. Donated supplies can be left in the main office downstairs off Fellowship Hall or given to Shelly Deskins, if you'll raise your hand so people might know who you are. <laughs> they are due back on Sunday, August 20th. Thank you in advance for your support. Today, youth ages four through sixth grade are invited to youth church. We will meet here at the front of the sanctuary during the singing of Here I Am, Lord. Parents, you may meet your child in the youth area after the service. And at this time, I will turn it over to Don Manker, who has an announcement for us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. I have the sermon, oh wait, no, this is just an announcement. Oh. <laughs> Long announcement, I'm sorry. Uh, Rachel mentioned some exciting events uh, planned for upcoming weeks, especially in August. I'm excited about August 20th with the Men of Mac. I don't, I'm not a great singer, but they let me sing with them and that's fantastic, I can't wait. On August 27th, our string quartet will be joining us and that's always a, a, an important Sunday, an exciting Sunday. Make plans to be here for both of those. And if you join us online, try to be here in this beautiful sanctuary because it's more impressive here than online sometimes. Stepping back a few weeks, on May 26th of this year, Pam and I marked our 50th anniversary. Note I said marked instead of celebrated. Not that we weren't celebratory, but being in the school business, where have we usually been on, on uh, May 26th? We've usually been in an auditorium uh, of awards or a library or graduation or sitting at home grading hundreds of final exams. So we usually don't celebrate on the 26th. Um, we, uh, so we missed it. Uh, we did consider doing something with our church family. Um, others of the old timers here might remember that uh, at, in this church, uh, typically every year or two, there would be a big 50th anniversary celebration for some uh, couple. Haven't had many of those in recent years, and I don't know if it's just not in vogue or we're all just too young to, uh, <laughs> to do that. Anyway, uh, we, we didn't exactly want to do anything like that. But talking to others about the exciting plans for August, we realized that August 27th, or August actually, is exactly 50 years from the time that Pam and I woke up on a Sunday morning and decided to come to this church as a couple. That was the first Sunday that she had been in this church. I had attended prior to that, but um, we thought, wouldn't it be great to celebrate that anniversary with our church family? And then we realized that every one of you sitting here today had a first Sunday at Madison Avenue Christian Church. 
And wouldn't it be neat to celebrate that? We've had in the past fellowship activities where we had a, a birthday dinner where we celebrated everybody's birthday. Why not celebrate the anniversary of when you were here? Now, for some, it might have been much, much longer ago than 50 years, uh, the first time that you were in the nursery downstairs. Um, but anyway, um, no matter how long you've been here, I thought that would be interesting. Talking to membership chair Sherry and others, we came up with a plan. So after church on August 27th, after we participate in the worship service and share the beauty of the string quartet offerings, we'll gather in Fellowship Hall for a meal to celebrate the first Sunday each of us had at Madison Avenue Christian Church. It's going to be catered so that all of you can, uh, so that nobody has to be downstairs while the uh, uh, string quartet is performing. Uh, no cost. Um, and uh, Sherry's talking about a brief but interesting and illuminating program as we finish the meal, as some other people reflect on the first Sunday that they had. And we'll be done by 1 o'clock, so if you want to get down to the Reds game, there'll still be plenty of time for that. So please, the one request is, please join us for that celebration. School will be back in session. It's before Labor Day arrives, so everybody should be in town for that. And if you were planning a trip, just cancel it. This will be more fun. <laughs> a cruise, ah, don't worry about that. We'll have several out-of-town family members and friends joining us, so invite others to join for that special Sunday of worship, music, and lunch. And Sherry and Rachel will give you more information on this event in coming Sundays. Thank you. Good morning. Please join me in reading our call to worship this morning. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. You have voted over the past few weeks and your number one hymn is How Great Thou Art. We are going to sing verses one and two, and then the chorus, and then three and four as regular. Would you please stand as we sing together?
You may be seated. Psalm 100, a psalm of thanksgiving. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Would you please pray with me? Gracious and loving God, what a joy it is this morning as we come together in this beautiful place. We want to take this opportunity to come before you, praising and glorifying you for your love. Thank you for the gift of life that you have granted to us this day, so that we may come together in worship and in fellowship. We pray that the music we make and the songs that we sing are always from our hearts to you. We pray for those who are sick, hurting, or lonely, that they may feel your love through the prayers of others. We pray for those who are grieving, that they may find peace. God, we ask for your help in being the light in every place that you've given us to walk. Give us care and wisdom as we live and work with one another. We pray that we can show love to each other today, even if it is difficult at times. Help us to look to another's needs before our own and to always be ready to serve those around us, even in every dark and broken place, for the times we feel like we are barely making it through. Give us your joy, your grace, and the powerful presence of your peace. Hear us even now as we join in the prayer that your son taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Romans 8, 31b to 37. If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his own son, but gave him up for all of us, how will he not with him also give us everything else? Who will bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? It is Christ who died, or rather who was raised, who is also at the right hand of God, who also intercedes for us. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will affliction or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are being killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than victorious through him who loved us. Many of you know that Fanny Crosby, the hymn writer, was blind. She was interviewed once by a minister who uh, said, you know, are you ever angry with God that you are blind? And she said, no, because of all the other senses that I have, that I can feel God's love, which might sound trite to us, but she really did feel that way. And so many of her hymns arguably some say 8,000, some say 9,000. Hard for us to believe how prolific a hymn writer she was. That there are so many references to sight. And one of her most beloved hymns, Blessed Assurance, has that. In the second verse, visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Something that she looked forward to. And in the third verse, watching, waiting, looking above. 
she told that minister that she knew that the first time that she would have sight, she would be seeing the face of her Savior. Let us sing together, Blessed Assurance. Our scripture is Psalm 92, verses 1 through 4. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your steadfast love in the morning and your faithfulness by night, to the music of the lute and the harp and the melody of the lyre. For you, O Lord, have made me glad by your work, at the works of your hands, I sing for joy. The scripture is Isaiah chapter 6, verses 5 through 8. And I said, Woe is me, I am lost. For I am a man of unclean lips, 
and I live among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphs flew to me, holding a live coal that had been taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. And the seraph touched my mouth with it and said, Now that this has touched your lips, your guilt has departed and your sin is blotted out. And then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? And I said, Here I am, Lord. Send me. seated. <clears throat> if you happen to be a youth in the 70s, you were uh, the first people to sing this song, Pass It On. Uh, Kurt Kaiser wrote this song along with his partner Ralph Carmichael, who were writing a musical for the youth of the time during what was called the Jesus Movement. The musical was called Tell It Like It Is. And when they finished the musical, they needed an ending song, something like Just As I Am, but a little more hip. 
So one night when Kurt was at home, he was relaxing, mulling over this, trying to think of something, sitting in front of his fire. You know what's coming next. He saw the embers burning and he said, hmm, it only takes a spark to get a fire going. And quickly the song came to be. So it has gone through many, many youth groups, many, many camp uh, singings around campfires. But then in, in later years, by the end of the 70s and through the 80s, it started to appear in hymn books. So now we all know it only takes a spark. Pass it on. Let us sing that together. The scripture reading is from John chapter 20 verses 11 through 17. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They've taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there. But she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where have you laid him? And I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned to said, and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not touch me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God.
sound of his voice is so sweet the birds hush their singing and the melody that he gave to me within my heart is This first reading is from Psalm 89, verses 1, 2, and 5. I will sing of your steadfast love, O Lord, forever. With my mouth I will proclaim your faithfulness to all generations. I declare that your steadfast love is established forever. Your faithfulness is as firm as the heavens. Let the heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, and your faithfulness in the assembly of the Holy Ones. The scriptures from Lamentations 3, verses 22 and 23. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness.
be seated. Let us give thanks for our offering this morning. God of all blessings, especially the blessing of music, Jesus taught us that small things can have a big impact. You call us to be not only givers, but also receivers of your grace. We ask you to bless our gifts of time, talents, and treasure that we offer you today. Multiply our gifts to have a powerful impact when used according to your purposes. Bless us that we might see glimpses of your kingdom through our giving and help us to grow in generosity. This we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen.
the bliss of this glorious thought. My sin, not in part, but the whole is nailed to the cross, and I bear it no more. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Come into his presence with singing. Here I am, Lord. I will sing of your steadfast love. All lines from scripture we have heard this morning. Clearly, song is intended to be a part of the joy of life, a part of the sacred. Clearly, we are meant to sing. Music flows through our lives, accompanying joys and sorrows, the momentous and the mundane, bringing peace, inspiration, energy, reassurance, restoration. We have all heard hymn lore page already mentioned Fanny Crosby we've heard of Titanic's orchestra playing nearer my God to thee as the ship slipped beneath the waves we've heard of John Newton's conversion from slave ship captain to abolitionist and Anglican priest leading him to write both glorious things of thee are spoken and amazing grace. We've heard of Horatio Spafford penning, it is well with my soul in spite of losing his business in the great Chicago fire and all four of his daughters in a shipwreck. We have all heard if not actually witnessed, how people in the depths of dementia or in the midst of their dying can respond to music, particularly hymns. Hymns become favorites for a variety of reasons, memories, associations, context, personally meaningful lyrics, beautiful melodies. 
My late mother used to say she wanted her favorite hymn played at her funeral. And it was, although she did acknowledge the mischief, mischievous incongruity of it, you see it was open my eyes. <laughs> Hymns have power. They are more than songs. They are our story. They are prayers of praise, gratitude, supplication, acknowledgement of all that God is. The nine hymns that Paige has woven together with scripture today, thank you Paige, were those most requested by us. And I think they tell our journey as people of faith. Who we are, who we strive to be, what we need, what we long for. How great thou art, and great is thy faithfulness. Joy, wonder, and praise. Blessed assurance, and it is well with my soul. Comfort and courage. Here I am, Lord, and pass it on. Conviction and purpose. In the garden, presence and personal connection. Just as I am, and amazing grace. Grace and transformation. Of course, many other hymn titles besides these nine were submitted, but it seems to me that there is something when you take these particular nine titles together about them having been the ones chosen. Something of the sacred. Simon would call it providence. Perhaps it is that the most amazing grace is here at this table. The joy, wonder, praise, comfort, courage, conviction, purpose, presence, connection, grace, transformation, they are all right here. The singing of a hymn is included by both Matthew and Mark in their recounting of the Last Supper. So let us sing the gifts of God for the people of God.
Christ's table. Shall we pray together? Dear God, we have sung of your greatness and of how your love never ends. This table is the symbol of your gift of love, the gift of life through Jesus Christ. We pray that this simple meal will give us the strength to reflect your love and be the good news of Jesus Christ in everything that we do. Amen. Now hear the words of institution as written in 1 Corinthians. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body. This is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took a cup also, after supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat, eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes again. Drink all of you of it. Madison Avenue Christian Church extends an invitation each and every week to those seeking a church home. A church home where faith and service go hand in hand. So if you'd like to join this fellowship, you are welcome to come forward during the singing of our final hymn or certainly meet with Reverend Simon or one of the elders at a later time. So let us stand together and sing Amazing Grace.
Go now as God's children. Go as messengers. Go as people with peace. Amen.